In this example, we're going to take the given situation, and we're going to go ahead and write a couple of variables, and then write some equations for a system, and then go ahead and solve that system, and then kind of come back and make sense of the answers that we got. So, a boat is traveling downstream, and it travels at 23 kilometers per hour. However, the boat travels, uh, let's see, only 9 kilometers per hour upstream. Okay, so determine both the speed of the boat in still water, and then the speed of the current. So kind of we got to have an idea what's going on. So we have a boat traveling downstream. Downstream means the water is pushing the boat along. So we have not only the speed of the boat, but also the speed of the current helping us. And that's going to be 23 kilometers per hour. When you go upstream, though, the boat's kind of fighting the current. So we have the speed of the boat, but then minus the speed of the current, because that's pushing you backwards. And that's going to be 9 kilometers per hour. So uh, determine both the speed of the boat and the speed of the current. So our variable definitions are going to be based upon the information we're trying to find. So the speed of the boat, maybe we could say B is the speed of the boat. And that's going to be measured in, what did it say, uh, kilometers per hour. And then we have C also, which it says the speed of the current. So the speed of the current. And again, that's measured in kilometers per hour. Okay, so we have our variable definitions. So let's go ahead and write our system. So traveling downstream. Well, we just talked about downstream is the speed of the boat plus the speed of the current, because both of them are traveling in the same direction, and that's going to be 23 kilometers per hour. And then, however, you know, going upstream, so that means the speed of the boat minus the speed of the current, because the current is fighting against the boat, and that's only 9 kilometers per hour. So when I see this system, it looks perfect for elimination. If I were to add these two equations together, my values of C would cancel. And I would have B plus B, which is 2B, equals 32 when I do 23 plus 9. So when I divide both sides by 2, looks like B is going to be 16. Okay, once I have the value of one of my variables, let's go ahead and plug it back in. So maybe B plus C equals 23. So if I plug my 16 in for B and then subtract 16 from both sides, it looked like C is going to be 7. Okay, well now that I have values for both B and C, I'm going to head to write a little sentence here to kind of summarize what's going on. I kind of got to make sense of the answer here. So what was B? When we go back to our variable definitions, B was the speed of the boat, right? And then C, of course, was the speed of the current. So that needs to be reflected when I write my sentence. So I'm going to say the speed of the boat. And of course, this is talking about the speed of the boat in still water is 16 kilometers per hour. And the speed of the current is 7 kilometers per hour. Okay, so here's my little sentence that summarizes the situation that we have.